We've been to a couple of weddings this year. We have. We have. I'm a little surprised that there haven't been more because it is wedding season after Are you ki- all. That's a record for me. Two? I'll, no, I'll go three, four years without even going to a wedding. Okay, And fair I enough. went to two this summer. All right, all what, right. One was my son mm-hmm. and one was your coworker. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah both so, beautiful weddings, by the way. Beautiful. Yeah, really well, well done. Well done. Yeah. No notes. Mm-hmm. Except... Well, here's the thing. It's not really any notes for the actual wedding. (laughs) No. But weirdly enough, both times we've been to a wedding this season, there's been someone who's not the bride wearing white. And I don't get that, dude. (laughs) What happened? Did we miss something? Is Okay, is it kind of like how now you can wear black to a wedding and it's okay? Like, is suddenly wearing white to a wedding okay? Because I don't think so. (laughs) Yeah, I Googled it. And um, because... Okay... All I had that fit me was black. Right. And so I Googled it. Is it okay to wear black to a wedding? Mm-hmm. And, you know, it used to be reserved. Yeah. All black used to be reserved for funerals. Right. Whereas now it's acceptable at weddings and sometimes even encouraged. Yeah. Depending on the color scheme. Yeah. And sure. I saw a couple other dudes there. All black. Right. Well, and her color scheme was like black and sage green. Yeah. So it was perfect. Great it colors, good. by the way. Yeah. I know. It looked really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. And I feel like men have always gotten a pass on black because if you only have one suit, it's probably going to be black. Yeah. I thought that the reason you didn't wear white to a wedding is that... The bride wears white and you don't want to upstage her. Well, at the very least, you want to give like you or, want to give her as much opportunity to shine as possible. Yes. Yeah. So it's not here's the thing. The gal at this last one was wearing like a knee length white lace. It was more of an ivory lace dress. But again, that's also one that you can't you can't get away with. Like I don't wear it's anything. Too close. I don't I don't even wear pastels that are too pale. You know, gotcha. Like you, you can't even hint at wearing white. Like I wouldn't even wear too pale of a blush, you know, for the risk of it looking white, especially because I'm super pasty. You know, and I <laughs> right. feel like I'm already glowing. You know, glow stick style. I don't need any extra help with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was just kind of baffled, and the bride was too, and she was like, "I don't really get it either." We did have a great time uh, at the wedding. Oh, yeah. It was super fun. Barn on First Street. Yes. Which I actually. Great venue, guys. Yeah. I've never gotten to go in there. And it's it's fantastic. It's really well made. Uh, They completely redid the entire interior of it, which was super nice. Uh, The bathrooms were. Top notch, which I always appreciate because <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going in no porta potty, especially not in my nice clothes. They've got so the they've got the barn sort of split into a main floor and then the upstairs. And the mm-hmm. upstairs you can see the the whole arch it goes all the way up to the uh-huh. arch and it's a made capacity 135 people. Yeah, something like that. So if you're looking for another event venue, I love that we're getting these event venues now. Barn on First Street, right. Brickyard Event Center. Mm-hmm. One thing I think that guys don't get about weddings, though, is that you cannot and should not, if you are a good moral person, smash the cake into your new bride's face. (laughs) Now, that did happen at this wedding, and thankfully, it was totally cool and not a problem. And, you know, they understand each other well enough to know where their boundaries are. When I got married, (laughs) I told my now (laughs) ex-husband that if he smashed that cake in my face, we would be getting a divorce before we even put our license in. (laughs) So... There's that. Uh, but here's I think the that's thing. called an annulment. Well, yeah, at that point. <laughs> at that point, you just tear it up and nothing ever happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, basically, the way I look at it is men don't understand how much effort goes into looking good day of. And if, oh, okay, for example, I know for a fact that this bride and myself had a makeup trial run and the actual day of makeup done by a professional, which costs a pretty penny. Right. At least three figures, Mm -hmm. you know? And so you have, you spend all of this time and money getting that done just for your pictures, you know? And then on top of that, there's the dress, which can be thousands of dollars depending on, you know, where you go. I know um, the average back when I was working at Treasures was about a thousand. When you do that cake smash, you're not only messing up her makeup, you could also mess up her dress. Yeah. And that could be a family keepsake that could go down generations. I get it. I agree with you. And sometimes dudes, we talked about the call of the void last episode. <sighs> some some men just want to be in the doghouse. <laughs> sometimes those intrusive thoughts win. Oh, it's just It's not uncommon to have the hijinks of the husband <laughs> interfere with the peace and calm and composure of the wife. Sure. 
I mean, any episode of The Simpsons. Right. Any episode of Family Guy. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, here's the thing, though. I really think that the tradition should be that the wife smashes it in her husband's face. You know, honestly, because the dude could clean up way faster. Way faster, way easier. Okay. Yeah. I, I agree. And frankly, I kind of think it's funnier. You know, because <laughs> yeah. usually it is the guy who's doing yeah. all kinds of wacky stuff. <laughs>